Now once you've received your email uh, after you've purchased on the Font Your Site uh, website, you'll get your download link here and once you download it, you'll, you'll end up on your desktop or wherever your downloads save. Um, so once you've received that, you log into your uh, WordPress admin area and in the plugins area you want to add new plugin so we'll go there and we'll go to the uploads feature choose your file which will be on your desktop it's called flaunt underscore image underscore uploader dot zip click open install now and make sure you activate the plugin uh, don't worry about this this is if you have a page caching uh, system it might ask you to empty your cache so now the plugin is installed and active and we're gonna go add new post and we'll simply call this bedding photography and say something brilliant like enjoy the wedding photos all right let's hit return and this is your new font photo uploader so you'll click this little yellow circle here and here you are you'll select the photos that you like and in this case they're in this folder called wedding photos let's just highlight and grab all these and you'll recognize that you get a little spinner indicating that it's uploading all the photographs and I believe we'll wait for a few more here we get about 34 photos to, uh, to upload <clears throat> and you want to make sure that you size your images appropriate to your blog so if you're uh, the area that your blog uses is 800 pixels for photos then make sure you size your photos to 800 and you'll want to JPEG compress your images as well to somewhere in the 70 to 80 range in that quality uh, you want your final output of images to be somewhere between 100 kilobytes and uh, 250 kilobytes uh, that's about appropriate for uh, photos anything larger than that and it takes forever for those photos to photos to download on your for your client so as you can see here we've got all the photos that we just uh, uploaded and we can select each one if you like and we can select all uh, we can uh, move each photograph around wherever you like to move them takes a little trick takes a little time to get used to it but you can take this photo all the way down to the bottom if you like and push it right there or you can put it somewhere in the middle move those files wherever you like them so you can individually rename your image the file name and it will end with a .jpg the .jp will be an automatic uh, with the uploader you can change the alt text or the title text. The alt text is great for SEO. Uh, and so add descriptive names. In this case, we'll just use wedding dash photos or wedding photos. Uh, but you might want to uh, use something that's, uh, you know, something like a keyword in your area. Maybe you want to start ranking for a venue, and you can use the venue's name uh, dash. Uh, wedding photography whatever it works for you I think that's something that you should work out with your search engine optimization consultant and um, and if you don't have one that's what font your site does uh, okay so we are going to batch rename everything for this one and we'll just do a quick batch rename of the files so let's call these wedding dash photo and the Dot jpg will be added to this it will also it will also, um, it will also uh, automatically put in the sequence so zero one zero two zero three 
So we'll just hit tab, and as you can see, the spinner's indicating that there's little work being done. And when that stops, you'll see, as you can see, we've got the wedding photo dash 002, and that will automatically sequentially all through the photos. And that's going to take a minute here, but once that stops, we can go ahead and hit insert all. Uh, you don't have to hit select all to insert, but you can if you like. And then come down here and hit insert all. And there you go. Each one has been inserted. Now you'll notice that there's a that there's no space in between. Uh, that's actually should be controlled by your CSS file. And all right, looks like we got a little leftover guy. Not sure where he where he came from. Okay, so let's preview how this will look like in a new blog post. There you have it. There's your title. Enjoy the wedding photos, and all your photos have been inserted. Like I mentioned before, your CSS file should uh, manage the amount of padding or margin that you have between each photo. And all your lovely wedding photos have been inserted. All right, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to get in touch with us at Flaunt Your Site. And uh, thank you for looking into the Flaunt Photo Uploader.